Black holes are one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe. When huge stars die, their cores collapse due to gravity, forming these black holes. The gravitational pull of a black hole is so strong that even light cannot escape from it. But have you ever wondered that small black holes are dangerous than large ones? Let's find out what makes small black holes more dangerous. Before we get into the details, let's have a quick recap of what black holes are. They are regions in space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape from it. Black holes come in different sizes. They can be as small as an atom or as big as a billion suns. The size of a black hole is determined by its mass. The more massive a black hole is, the larger it is. Small black holes are more dangerous than big ones because of their size. When a small black hole comes near a planet or a star, its gravitational pull can cause disruption in their orbits. This disruption can cause the planet or star to be pulled out of its orbit and flung out into space. This can have catastrophic consequences for the planets and stars in the vicinity of the black hole. Moreover, small black holes can also cause a phenomenon called spaghettification. When an object gets too close to a black hole, the gravitational pull on the side closer to the black hole is stronger than the pull on the other side. If a planet or a star gets too close to a small black hole, it can get ripped apart and form an accretion disk around the black hole. Big black holes, on the other hand, are less dangerous than small ones. This is because they are located at the center where there are fewer stars and planets. The gravitational pull of a big black hole is so strong that it can hold stars and planets in orbit around it without causing any major disruptions. In fact, the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, which has a mass of about 4 million suns, is not a threat to our solar system. However, there is one danger associated with big black holes, and that is the emission of radiation. Black holes are not just vacuum cleaners in space that suck in everything in their path. They also emit radiation in the form of X-rays and gamma rays. When matter falls into a black hole, it gets accelerated to almost the speed of light, and this acceleration produces a tremendous amount of energy that is released in the form of radiation. This radiation can be harmful to anything that comes in its way, including stars and planets. The danger of small black holes doesn't just end there they are also more likely to be found in the universe. Small black holes are formed when a massive star dies and its core collapses under the force of gravity. These small black holes can then merge and grow into bigger ones over time. This means that the chances of encountering a small black hole are much higher than encountering a big one. In addition to that, small black holes can also be harder to detect than big ones. They don't emit light, and their gravitational pull is too weak to cause any visible effects on the stars or planets around them. The only way to detect a small black hole is by observing its effects on nearby objects or through the gravitational waves it emits when it merges with another black holes. It's important to note that the chances of encountering a black hole in our lifetime are very slim. The nearest black hole to our solar system is about 1,000 light years away, which is a safe distance. Nevertheless, Studying black holes and understanding their properties is important for our understanding of the universe. While the chances of a black hole entering our solar system are extremely small, it's worth considering what would happen if a small black hole did enter our vicinity. A small black hole, even one with a mass just a few times that of our sun, could wreak havoc on our solar system. As we discussed earlier, the gravitational pull of a small black hole is extremely strong. If a small black hole entered our solar system, it would cause significant disruption to the orbits of the planets, potentially causing them to collide with one another or be flung out of the solar system entirely. The gravitational forces of a black hole could also create tides on the planets, potentially causing destructive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Additionally, a small black hole entering our solar system could have a significant impact on the stability of our sun. As the black hole interacts with the sun's gravitational field, it could cause massive disruptions to the sun's activity, potentially triggering solar flares or other dangerous phenomena. In conclusion, while big black holes are less dangerous than small ones, 
Both types of black holes are incredibly powerful and have the potential to cause significant harm. Small black holes are more dangerous due to their size, which can cause disruption to the orbits of planets and stars and lead to the phenomenon of spaghettification. While big black holes are located at the center of galaxies and pose less of a threat to our solar system, they emit harmful radiation that can be dangerous to anything in their path. Understanding the properties and potential dangers of black holes is essential for our understanding of the universe and our place in it. While the chances of encountering a black hole are slim, the power and mystery of these objects continue to fascinate astronomers and scientists around the world. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.